everybody, this is Praxis, and I'm doing this video actually tomorrow morning for yesterday, if that makes any sense. I was here for just uh, maybe three hours yesterday because uh, River had a uh, play date with some of his friends. Still came in in the morning and I did a bunch of work and I want to talk about what I got done yesterday. I just kept sheathing over on this wall here. Uh, I think I started somewhere somewhere around here and got a few boards over. One of the nice things about the greenhouse wall is that it's an exterior wall, it's using exterior boards, but it's not really a true exterior environment because there's not going to be rain falling on it and we don't have, um, hopefully, mice and you know various other sorts of critters that are going to be in here that could go uh, in through the wall. And the benefit of that, and I'll kind of highlight it right here, is uh, boards like this. This board has a, a knot in it, there's kind of a crack through the knot, and oh boy, and here's an even better example right up here. Uh, this board has a missing hole right here. There's a, there's a tunnel right through the board, another crack up over here. All the types of exterior boards that I'm, I'm finding in the pile, and whenever you buy a, a lot of lumber in a big bundle, it's not like when you go to the lumber store and you kind of can pick through and just get the nice ones. You get everything. Uh, so some of them aren't all that great, and it's nice if you can put those to use. Now these boards out here, they'd be totally inappropriate for outside outside because, you know, critters and things could crawl through these holes. But I can use them in here. They look fine in here. Uh, you know, the, the knots look fine. It's not a problem in here at all. And I'm able to use them up in a place where their liabilities aren't actually a liability. So that's what I was doing yesterday. I got up to, as you can see, here where I have the little uh, vent pastures. Now, uh, just to remind you, these vents come from the two bathrooms, which are right on top of each other. These are the uh, hot, steamy air from when like you're taking a shower or something like that, the exhaust vents. And uh, both of these are going to come down this wall, and I want to create like a, a gravel bed or something like that uh, down under the ground. So these will go down underneath some kind of a chamber. They'll be, uh, you know, like I said, like a gravel bed. And their warm, humid air will get pushed through there. And the hope is, is that a lot of the humidity will kind of get shed in the gravel. It'll be kind of cool in here in the, in the wintertime. Uh, the condensation will, uh, you know, condense on the gravel. And we won't... Uh, have the air coming into the greenhouse quite as humid. Now we are going to have ventilation in here. There's going to be a big window up there, and actually that's what I'm working on today, is framing out this wall. I finally got the lumber after River's play date yesterday. We went to the Home Depot and uh, you know got a bunch of lumber so I can frame out this wall. We're going to have that open. We'll probably have this window open in the winter, so we're going to have plenty of ventilation, but I know from experience at the last place, uh, even if you have a lot of ventilation in your greenhouse, you still get a lot of humidity in there. Now, the last uh, greenhouse I had had a fish pond in it. You know, there's plenty of availability of water. But I want to be uh, sensitive to that for this uh, incarnation of a greenhouse and make sure that we're not having humidity issues because when you get too much humidity in a structure, it can cause all sorts of problems. So that's what I did yesterday. Today, like I said, doing uh, you know, structural work uh, here. And at the end of the day, today, uh, in real time for you guys, I'll be releasing the video of what we were able to accomplish up here, and I'm going to try to do both of those triangular sections on both greenhouses at the same time so that I only have to think about it once because they're pre pretty much, or they should be, identical. That's it. Thanks for watching.